I'm Jaya Jones. Today we'll do the pituitary gland series. This is a kundalini yoga set that is very supportive for our glandular system. The glandular system being the guardians of our health. And the pituitary gland is the master gland. So when your pituitary gland is balanced, you can experience a sense of balanced health, a general sense of uh, well-being. The pituitary gland is also connected with our sixth chakra or our third eye center. This represents intuition, a sense of inner guidance, uh, a vision and life purpose. When your sixth chakra is balanced and the pituitary gland is functioning in the most optimal way, you feel a sense of trust within yourself, within other, with others and within the world. And when you feel like you can trust your intuition, there's more of a chance for you to be your real and authentic self. Let's tune in with the opening mantras. So bring your hands together at your heart center. We'll tune in with the first mantra, the Adi mantra, tuning in to your own inner guidance, your inner wisdom, and also tuning in to all the wisdom of the teachers throughout the ages. And the second opening mantra is the heart protection mantra. So just closing your eyes, rolling them up and back, focusing on <clears throat> your eyebrow center, inhaling the breath. <clears throat> Exhale. And inhaling the breath to begin. Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om Jugat Gurename, Sat Gurename, Siri Gurudev Ename. At Gurename, Jugat Gurename, Sat Gurename, Siri Gurudev Ename. At Gurename, Jugat Gurename, Sat Gurename, Siri Gurudev Ename. And inhale, exhale, and keeping your eyes closed and feeling into your intention. Beginning your intention with the statement, I am, and ending your intention also with the statement, I am. Embodying your intention. Feeling it deeply within your heart. So the first position is lunge. So coming onto your hands and knees to start with. Bringing your left foot forward and extending back your right leg. So this is the full version of lunge. If this is too strong, you can just bring your right knee down to the floor. You can also have the support of some blocks if you wish. For the first minute in lunge. So just assuming the position that's most comfortable for you. 
And for the first minute, just long, deep breaths. And then for the last two minutes, breath of fire. Lifting your head and chest up. Looking forward, long, deep breaths. Just finding the stillness in the posture, staying with your breath. And now starting breath of fire. And I'm going to bring my right knee down to the floor because it's just a little bit strong, that position, holding it for an extended period of time. Breath of fire. Now inhale, pause the breath and apply Mulaband lifting up. And then as you exhale, bringing your left knee to the floor and extending the right leg back, leaning forward over your left thigh. Forehead to the floor. If your forehead doesn't reach the floor, put a bolster, cushion or brick just underneath your forehead. And staying here for long, deep breaths. Relaxing in the position, staying with your breath, feeling into the stillness within yourself. Deeply relaxing here in this position.
inhale, pause the breath, exhale, and change legs, opposite leg lunge. Lifting your head up, chest forward, long deep breaths. Staying with the posture, long deep breaths. And now starting breath of fire. Keeping your chest and your head lifted Inhale, pause the breath, and then exhale, bringing your right knee to the floor, and stretching your back leg, and leaning forward over your right thigh, bringing your forehead to the floor, I'll put a brick underneath your forehead, long deep breaths. Holding the position, staying with your breath, feeling the stillness within your body, within your heart.
And now inhale, pause the breath, and squeezing up through Mulliband, root lock. Relax Mulliband, release the breath. And release the posture. And now very slowly come standing on your feet. And we'll come into forward bend. So raising your arms up. And as you exhale, bending forward from your hips. And wherever your hands can reach, they might be touching your toes or on the floor or just on your ankles or just beneath your knees, wherever it's most comfortable for you. Bringing your feet really wide if you want to relax into your back and bending your knees if you want to release tension in your back. Just hanging out in forward bend, long deep breaths. Long, deep breathing, really letting your head hang loose. Deeply relaxing into the posture. It's like you're imagining all that stress and worry just draining out through the crown of your head. Long, deep breaths. Now inhale, exhale, and very slowly, very, very slowly, winding your torso up, vertebrae by vertebrae, slower, even slower. Your head will be the very last thing to come up.
beautiful. And just closing your eyes for a few moments, just resting in between the postures. Long, deep breaths. Now bringing your feet a little, just a little wider than hip distance apart, raising your arms up to 30 degrees, thumbs plugged up into the ceiling and just slightly drawn towards your head, clenching your fingers in and just starting long deep breaths, closing your eyes, rolling them up and back, focusing on your eyebrow center. Holding this position. Just staying with your breath. Feeling the stillness in the posture. Staying with your breath, present with your breath, present in your body. Now inhale, pause the breath and apply Mulabund lifting up through the pelvic floor, the rectum and the sex organs and then exhale, release the breath and float your arms down beside you and just closing your eyes for a few moments, resting in between the postures, long deep breathing. Now coming onto your hands and knees, tucking your toes under and pushing your buttocks and hips up into downward facing dog. If this is too much, you can just come into pose of a child. So assuming the position that's most comfortable for you. I'm just really holding the position 
Feeling the beautiful stretch in through your back and through the backs of your legs, your arms, letting your head hang loose. Present with your breath, present in your body. Now inhale, pause the breath, lifting up through Mulaband, root lock. Exhale and slowly come down onto your knees and just resting for a few moments in pose of a child. Long deep breaths. Now coming into cobra position, so come lying on your tummy, full cobra position as with your palms flat on the floor beside you, tucking your elbows in and you can bring your feet a little bit apart to protect your lower back, squeezing in through your buttocks and your thighs lifting your torso up. The other option if this is too strong is to bring your forearms on the floor. So assuming the position that's most comfortable for you. Long deep breaths. Facing forward and closing your eyes, rolling them up and back, focusing on your eyebrow center. And now start neck turns, inhaling, turning your head to the left, exhaling, turning your head to the right.
Turning your head to center. Inhale. Pause the breath and apply Mulabund. Lifting up through the pelvic floor, the rectum and the sex organs. And release Mulabund. Release the breath. Inhale. Pause the breath again. Apply Mulabund. Exhale, release Mulabund. Inhale, pause the breath, apply Mulabund. And then exhale, release Mulabund. And come just resting your head on the floor. Taking a few moments, feeling into the stillness in between the postures. Long, deep breaths. And now slowly making your way up onto your knees. And lifting up, standing up on your knees, raising your arms up at about 60 degrees. And then exhale, come down, forehead to the floor. And it's a continuous position, lifting your arms up. And then exhale, forehead to the floor. And when you come up, you come standing up, up on, you're standing on your knees. Inhale, exhale. Imagining yourself like a lotus flower. in full bloom, rising up out of the mud, out of the sticky goo of your life. Closing your eyes. Now inhale, 
Raise the arms up. And then exhale and just come sitting for a few moments. Just a little rest in between the postures. Come onto your hands and knees. Connecting your heels to your buttocks, forehead on the floor. And interlocking your fingers behind your back and raising your arms up as high as they can comfortably go. Staying in this position, long deep breaths. Staying with your breath, present with your breath, present in your body. Keep holding the arms up, inhale, pause the breath and apply Mulaband. Exhale, release Mulaband, relax your arms down. Oh. Slowly lifting your torso up and come lying down on your back. The deep relaxation, Shavasana. Just making yourself very warm and comfortable. Closing your eyes. Feeling into your body and how it's positioned on your mat. Long, deep breaths.
just feeling into the sound of your breath as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Slowly feel the rise and the fall of your belly as you're breathing. And just going a little deeper and feeling into your intention. Beginning with your intention with the statement, I am. Then your intention goes after that and ending your intention with I am. Feeling your intention deep within your body, embodying your intention. Feeling your intention deep within your heart. And feeling that your intention is permeating every single cell in your body. And resting here. within your intention, within your own inner light, your inner strength.
and very slowly returning your awareness to the room and starting to move and stretch your body in ways that are most comfortable for you. Taking a couple of long, deep breaths. And sighing the breath out. And just hugging your knees into your chest and rolling your knees over to the left side of your body, turning your head to look to the right. And opposite side with your knees, turning your head to look in the other direction. Returning your knees to center, your head to center. And start to rub the soles of your feet and your hands together at the same time. And just come rolling over onto the right side of your body. And then push yourself up into a cross-legged seated position. And we'll do the meditation. The meditation is called eliminating thoughts you do not like. So you may like to imagine that there's a certain thought, belief, condition that you would rather not have in your life. And just take a few moments to consider what that is. And bringing your hands together right hand inside the left and making sure that your fingers are crossed over each other and your hands are at the level of your heart center and now gaze down into the palm of your hand palm of your right hand Long, deep breath in. And as you exhale, imagine that you're spitting out the thought, the condition or the belief that you do not want in your life. So deep inhale. And as you exhale, like you're spitting a dry spit, blowing out into the palm of your right hand. Deep inhale. Considering the thought, condition or belief you don't want in your life, while blowing out into the palm of your right hand. And continue this breath pattern in your own time. Maintaining the mudra, the hand position at the level of your heart center.
Keep gazing down at the palm of your right hand. <sighs> Staying with this breath pattern. Finding a rhythm with your breath. Maintaining the steady rhythm of the thought, belief or condition that you don't like. In rhythm with your breath.
Now inhale, exhale, just closing your eyes, keep your arms in position and making sure your back is as straight as it can be. And just imagine your spine. Bring the full awareness into every single vertebrae in your spine. Feeling the energy in your spine. And you can imagine that your spine is so touchable for you that you can imagine your spine in the palm of your right hand. You may like to imagine that there's a light going on with every single vertebrae in your spine. Now resting your hands in your lap and just closing your eyes, breathing. Now bringing your hands together at your heart center. Finish with the closing mantra, the long time sun. Inhaling the breath to begin. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surrounds you, and the pure light within you, guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on guide your way on guide your way on three satnams so in deep gratitude for all the blessings and peace that yoga brings to our life. Satnam.